shooting and roll camera. Ever wonder what it's like working on a movie? Wanted to be in the glow of the big lights in front of the cameras creating a marvellous performance? Well, this is the set of Spirit Ed, a short film about guardian angels in training. I've snuck on the set to see what it's like making a movie and maybe chat to a few of the stars. Hopefully, once this short film is made, it will eventually become a full-length feature film. Now, I've got Joel, who's one of the stars of this movie. Joel, tell me about your character. Um, well, my character's name is Ed. He's the main character in the movie, um, Spirit Ed. So, uh, yeah, he's, you know, the rebel kid in the movie, doesn't wear the right uniform, um, late to class, hoverboards around. There's... You get to be a bit cheeky. Yeah. What's it like being on set? Is it pretty full on? Because um, there's lots of dudes watching uh, you and making sure. Probably 40, 60 different people just, you know, telling you what to do. You know, can you, like, look over here? Can you look there? It's, you just got to really focus on what the director's telling you what to do. Is it something that you want to keep pursuing in the future? Yeah, definitely. It's just something I'd like to do. Yeah. So we'll be sort of, we'll, we'll go from this, maybe some home and away, yeah. then on to get an Oscar or something like that. Uh, that'd be good. Olivia, your character's called Grace. Tell us a little bit about her. Well, she's like the perfect angel and she's she knows what she's doing and everybody sort of follows Grace. She's a real leader and she's always looking up to her headmistress and telling Ed what to do. Right, now, is this sort of typecasting for you? Are you like that in real life? Mm, a little bit. I, I like to do a bit of study, but, yeah, I'm not too sure. Do you mess up lines very often? Like, we do that on our show quite a bit, but do you ever mess up lines? Um... I haven't got too many lines at the moment, but maybe I'll mess up some lines in the future. I don't know. <laughs> it's not something to look forward to. <laughs> no. And it's not just kids getting in on the film. English actress Miriam Margulies is also lending her talents. Most of our viewers will know you as Professor Sprout from Harry Potter. Yes, I'm afraid they will. <laughs> but you're playing a different role in this movie. Tell us about your role. I'm still playing a teacher, so perhaps it's not that different, but my role in this is the headmistress of a school for guardian angels, mm -hmm. and she's not quite as nice as Professor Sprout. Where, where is the, where is the... Let's find a point. <laughs> Do you have some advice for everyone at home who might be an aspiring actor or actress? Do lots of school plays. Make plays up yourself. Go to the films and be critical. Look at the way somebody's acted a part and don't just go, oh, he's wonderful, but think, why was that good? I think just doing it is the most important thing and reading, 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 reading. No excuse. <laughs> I see a bit of the headmistress coming out yes. there. <laughs> I'm a strict disciplinarian. <laughs> now, you've worked on the very last Harry Potter, so can you give us a bit of an inside scoop? Not uh. one. <laughs> Not because I don't want to, but because the producers make a sign a form. Very secretive. Saying that we will not dis disclose anything about it. Okay, so when the cameras stop but, rolling, we'll uh, have a bit of a chat. But it, it, it's, it's, a good, it's a good movie. It's a good one. Well, we don't get a Harry Potter insight, but maybe Spirit Ed might just take over the world next. That's a wrap. Oh, well, oh, it's it's maybe Miriam would like to be in our soap opera. <laughs>